We will discuss in this video the third parable, the hidden parable that proves the Wednesday Sabbath. This is found in Matthew 6, verses 9 through 11. Do you not yet understand, neither remember, the five loaves of the five thousand and how many baskets you took up? And how about the seven loaves on, of the four thousand and how many baskets you took up? How is it that you do not understand that I spoke it not to you concerning bread? that you should beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Now, leaven are the teachings, and you find that out later in these verses of Matthew. But we're going to focus in now on what is to be understood. What is it that is being pointed out by the anointed here that we are supposed to understand from these two feedings? The answer to this came t two years ago on the last day of the Feast of Dedication in 2014. Just so happens that today also is the last day of the Feast of Dedication. Five loaves plus two fish equals seven plus five thousand equals 12 baskets. These are the numbers that are presented in the first feeding. So the five loaves correspond to the fifth day. And to that we are to add two days. That then equals the seventh day. Plus the 5,000, which is a day is as a thousand, so that's five days. So plus five days would equal the twelfth day. And how many baskets are there? Twelve. So math adds up. This is the true week and the true Sabbath being shown here. Uh, now the first bride knew the true Sabbath because the two witnesses delivered that to them. And it just so happens that on the true week, the, with the Wednesday being the Sabbath, the fifth day is Monday. And Monday is a representation, uh, symbolically, of the first bride, those who were present 2,000 years ago. So it's interesting that it starts with Monday, the day that represents it in this parable. And then it, most uncannily, ends on the 12th day, which is returned you back again to Monday. 5 plus 7 equals 12. It is the 12th day is another Monday. So double witness there that this is referring to what the first bride would come to know and understand. Now the second part of this parable is the other feeding. This is the seven loaves fed to 4,000 with seven baskets left over. So again, it would be the seventh day or the, is the seven loaves. The 4,000 is plus four days. Does that equal the seventh day? Seven plus four does not equal that. It'd be the 11th day. Math does not work. Uh, there's a false week and, and Sabbath involved here. Uh, these loaves are leavened and corrupted. <clears throat> what day would that seventh day in actuality have to be to make the equation work? Now, the false seventh day we currently have is Saturday. And with the true understanding of Wednesday being the correct seventh day of Father, Saturday is the third day. So if we plug in the true day of the week that this false seventh-day Sabbath of Saturday is, it would be three, the third day, plus four days equals the seventh day. Now the math works. Isn't that uncanny? That with the correct understanding of 
the true Sabbath and the true order of the week, this parable all of a sudden makes sense. And it is precise. So again, this is showing that from the false Sabbath, the third day, plus four days will lead you to Wednesday. Just, just do it. Um, Saturday plus Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. The seventh day, the true Sabbath. And the math works once you understand it and see how the seventh, the false seventh day was corrupted. It was leavened by the Sadducees and Pharisees, Judaism. The second bride, which we all hope to be part of now, is in this situation where they have been led to believe that Saturday was the true seventh day, and it's not. And they come to find the true seventh day of Wednesday. So this fits very well for us. Now what is also interesting is that just leaving it as it is, if we, if we do Wednesday as the true seventh day plus four days, where does that take us to? Us to. Well, it takes us to the fourth day of the true week, which is Sunday which is the day that Christianity would come to observe as their false Sabbath. And they understand it's the first day of the false week. So it's just uncanny how this parable shows the future Sunday worship that Christianity would partake of, while also showing the false Sabbath of Saturday and lead it all back to Wednesday as being the true Sabbath. Blessings to you all.